morning, Darren. Hey, good morning. So I get up and there's ice cubes that are reported and land sightings. <laughs> so we can officially, now that I'm up, ring the land ho bell. Land ho to Greenland. <laughs> Never thought it'd be saying that. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> wow. foggy since the early mornings of the night and it was rainy and we had some spinnaker issues but now we are sailing again the waves have picked up so it's flogging about it's kind of frustrating and it's also since we're still downwind we're super rolly makes me feel squishy but I'm trying to work through that. Uh, the sun is really trying though. So that's very exciting to see. Well, this has been a pretty chill day. We've been downwind spinnaker sailing. The waves have been a little bleh, like two meters plus in the morning. They're kind of starting to die down now. Anyway, I heat myself up some delicious banana bread. This wonderful prize is what Amanda makes for me, for my sweet tooth. And Amanda here, playing up some ukulele. Yeah, so we're hoping for a wind shift before nighttime this time. Last night we were up twice in the middle of the night with the spinnaker. Hoping we can take it down before nightfall and then, like, so we don't have to deal with that in the middle of the night, but it's not looking like it. Just like that. Oh my, oh my god, everywhere. Like everywhere. It just vanished. Like or we got to the end. Not sure. Oh. Are we at the end of the world? I don't know. It ends at 52 degrees? <laughs> 39 minutes? I'm okay with it. Uh, fog is wow. so like oppressive. <laughs> it's like, <sighs> oh, I'm so tired of the fog. Oh my gosh, Gorgeous. look at this. Just in time for sunri sunrise, sunset. sunset. <laughs> I don't know what time it is anymore. Oh. Um, wow. It's 
like a relief. I could feel like a weight lifted. This is awesome. Right. It looks like today though, it'll be a good sunset. Yeah. So do you want to stay up for a sunset? Are you inviting me to a sunset date? Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking like, you know, around eight o'clock right here yeah. in the cockpit. Yeah? Yeah, we can have a little sunset sweet. date. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll come. Yeah, it'll be a dinner a dessert date. I'll bring the Reese's pieces. Ooh, you got me at Reese's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. This is an excellent start to, I think that it's gonna be a very good sailing day. Uh, this is morning of day four now, and we have about 457 nautical miles to go. Um, but this is a really sweet spot for our point of sail. We're like broad reaching with a spinnaker. The true wind's around 16 knots and thus we are flying. We're doing like seven knots pretty steady and then we surf down waves and do eight, nine, and I've seen up to 10 too. That's pretty exciting stuff. Flying along. Very pleasant out today. We emerged from the fog last night, which was oh, so relieving. And it doesn't look like there's anything around. It's just clear blue skies. So, man, this is like ideal sailing. So this is a great day to make some miles. So we're going to keep pushing hard and keep the spinnaker up. Um, the last, like the start of this trip was pretty slow. So definitely have some ground to make in terms of like our expected uh, time of arrival and our weather route. So but this beam reaching, uh, this will be really good mile making days here. I think we'll get maybe two or three days of this condition. It's rad before the next kind of low comes through and, and we'll have some different winds to contend with. So last one, talk about my thoughts on Greenland. This was not expected in our trip whatsoever. We were supposed to go to the South Pacific. Um, Greenland is a place that... So what I'm looking at is the corner of the sail will just start to luff and if we keep heading up into the wind the spinnaker will totally collapse. And that's a pretty loud violent affair and I don't want that. So anyway thoughts on Greenland. Yeah, Greenland has always been this uh, I don't know about magical place, but maybe unattainable place because not a lot of people travel there. Like it's uh, not a, exactly a tourist destination. Um, and every time I've flown to Europe in my life, the flight goes over Greenland at you know 35,000 feet, and it looks magnificent. You see all the glaciers and the ice, uh, and so it's yeah, kind of this unattainable spot. I never would have guessed I would be sailing a boat there. Like that I didn't think was something people do. Part of this trip is we want to go to some really unique places and places that people don't travel too much. And when I thought we were doing a lap of the North Atlantic, I thought, well, it's, you know, a lot of people travel the whole North Atlantic. But one spot I think that not a lot of cruising boats go is Greenland. So this is really cool to see a, a, a neat, unique spot. Anyway, 456 miles to go. So we had to take down the spinnaker. The wind started to die and shift at the same time, and the waves were too much for the spinnaker to keep inflated. So now we're motoring, and it feels really defeating, of course, but at least it's a nice day. I wish the wind would cooperate, hopefully by this afternoon. But yeah, just 
listening to my book in the cockpit and trying to enjoy the day. Getting away from the motor once in a while really helps. <laughs> things and it's really nice but I am really excited to see Greenland and ice and be somewhere for a little while maybe getting a little just tired of the move being on the move want to be in one place for a little while and actually experience walking around on land again and maybe a different culture new, a new place. So looking forward to that. What are we cooking tonight? What the cooking is looking. We are gonna cook some burritos. Some egg and rice burritos. Pretty much a breakfast burrito. But we don't care what time it is here on Panda Boat. No. No. So I'm gonna start by sauteing the burrito. I don't think that's the right term, but I like that. And then we'll do eggs and rice and some bell peppers and onions, salsa. That's it. Breakfast burrito. Sounds delicious. Darren's cooking night. I'm already hungry too. <laughs> Alright, well we've been motoring uh, most of the day, but we're finally in our big wind change and it's still light out so we can actually see it. So we have this big band of clouds moving that way. It looks very dark and ominous. And that's what we're sailing right into. But it should be good beam reaching in there. But man, it looks dark and cloudy. Ooh. Wow going seven and a half knots, flying upwind. Uh, it's definitely one way to wake up for your shift. The winds kicked in like probably an hour before my shift started uh, and the seas were super calm. So it was really a good sail for Darren. And then the wind started really picking up and the seas got a little more choppy. But uh, I woke up and we were just flying. <laughs> This is the uh, first time in a while that we've had uh, a lot of upwind work. Uh, it's always a little harder to move around the cabin when it's like this, but got the first reef in the main and the first reef in the head sail. So a reef down and I'm just keeping an eye on Eva because she likes to turn off randomly. But I'm just trying to hold on to the seat for now. now it is ooh, probably six in the morning local time the sun's really coming up now being a bright uh, red and orange on the horizon it's just beautiful the sail today is fantastic we have a ton of wind uh, we're looking like 16 knots of wind on the beam sometimes more gusts up to 20 so we're uh, we're kind of reefed down a little bit and the sails are let out and we are just flying uh, Thing staying somewhere between seven and eight knots through the water, which is, uh, that's this boat's fast sweet spot. So yeah, making some good miles today, which feels really good. Uh, yeah, these last couple days, we have some, like we're sailing into this high pressure zone and we've had to kind of make a course change so that we make sure we don't sail right in the middle of it where it's totally uh, becalmed but we're staying rather on the outer edge. So we have some consistent wind for as long as we can get to the coast. I think when we approach the coast, it's gonna be calm, we're gonna have the motor, but that's okay, that's easier to, to see ice. So anyway, yes. 
this beautiful sailing thing. Yeah, you should probably get maybe your just your jacket. I think it'll be fine. Okay. Good morning. sail has been really good. I didn't have to do much of anything. We just kept hauling ass the way you left the boat. Wow. You didn't trim anything? No. Oh, I'm so good. You were so good. I went to like trim one sail and it was like freaking perfect. Yeah. I feel like, well, I attempted to make hot water earlier and I just gave up and made tea in cold water. <laughs> <laughs> it was not worth it. Tea with old water. Mm, some tea sounds good. I think after my second sleep, that's what I will have is the tea. Okay, now we hand the boat over to Panda. So I was just coming out here to enjoy the view for a little while and get away from the cockpit. But I actually found these like shrimp or krill uh, on the deck. Super weird. First time I found these things. Uh, it's been a while since we've found anything on the deck, but we used to find uh, flying fish or squid. Uh, but this is this is new. Really interesting. <laughs> The sail is going great so far this morning. We had a lot of wind last night and now we're just kind of milking it out as much as we can. Uh, luckily going in the right direction on a beam reach still and it's a beautiful day. Well, I think this is pretty cool from a sailing perspective. I don't think we've ever flown our spinnaker. Uh, at like a kind of the closest angle of wind we can get which is about 90 or 100 degrees and we have just like six knots of apparent wind at about 100 degrees and we're flying the spinnaker a little stay sail our mainsail and our um mizzen and we're doing like five and a half knots with like six knots of wind which is pretty cool that's like as fast i think as we've gotten to the wind speed so, and I think this is the point of sale that you could do that. And this, is, this is good light wind, enough for us to keep on moving without motoring. Otherwise, there's been a lot of motoring on this trip, more than I ever would have expected. Um, but the winds are just pretty finicky. And I mean, I guess you could not motor and you could stay out here and bobble around, but problem is there's some big lows that blow through this area and we don't want to wait for one of those to come through. So nice just to keep marching forward towards our port. Anyway, I just thought that was pretty neat. Doing five and a half knots and six knots of wind. Sailing in the Atlantic Ocean is a huge adventure for us. It can be quite scary if you've never done it before, never mind our limited experience, especially now that we've added icebergs to the mix. But on calm days like this, your fear melts away as you glide along the water's surface. It always amazes us that the sea can be so quiet, the water as smooth and reflective as glass, and only the waves coming from Panda's wake. These conditions make us feel like time is moving slower, and we relish in the opportunity to enjoy this peaceful and ethereal world as the excitement of landfall bubbles beneath the surface. It is 
I think. And we are about 80 miles off of Greenland right now. And it's pretty chilly. It's gotten a lot colder since our beginning days of the journey. And it is super calm. It's only like two knots, a headwind of two knots. We were looking for a calm approach to Greenland, so this is actually perfect for what we wanted. Uh, we haven't seen any ice yet, but we're looking forward to that very soon, I hope. Seeing wildlife in the ocean is always an exciting event, and we had never seen pilot whales before. As they glide through the swell, dart under the keel, and follow along for a while in the boat's wake, their companionship provides us comfort and makes us feel a little less lonely in this barren watery desert. And we can't help but wonder if they feel the same. I should 
say it's a very small town. I think there's only 1,500 people or so that live there. But looks like there's a couple anchoring opportunities and hopefully we can get the boat anchored and all secured and then we can go to shore and do any check-in formalities that are required and then just relax and get some sleep. It's been a pretty long feeling passage. So. But yeah, can't believe it. Making landfall a green one. exciting landfall ever in our sailing experience. This is absolutely stunning. Thank you very much, Zaya. Thank you for your time as well, and uh, have a great time here in uh, Greenland. It is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. You have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye now. Uh, yeah, everything is good. Um, they have welcomed us to Greenland. A uh, good thing related to COVID is looks like we won't have any issues. They've kind of, I guess, relaxed their COVID policies. And for us, uh, being at sea for three weeks counts as our quarantine. So, uh, so we just report to the police station and that should be it. about that.